奇跡の炎よ燃え上がれよ君の心に未来のため Is this what that intercom thing is? Hello? Yo, who's there? It's me, Jordan. Oh, what's your need? Um, are you free today? Yeah, just give me a sec. If you want to train, I have to get my geek code. Okay. Okay, I'll wait. Right. These guys are tough. Watching this video on YouTube, it's basically a series called Onyx Realm. Onyx Realm. Whatever. I don't know why you watch anything on that. We can legitimately destroy mountains. Well, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of entertainment while waiting. Ah, fair enough. Anyway, I wanted you to teach me some of the moves that you learned in the other world. You sure you can handle it? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm a Saiyan after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to do it. I can't play all of you. Come on. Alrighty, let's do this. Well, this brings back memories. Mm, sure. Because we were here yesterday. Yeah, I get, got what you mean, but. Yeah, what's the matter? Alright. Hey, can you do me a favor real quick? Oh, what's up? Well, you were doing this fine. Let's go back down. Oh, okay. Just stay right there. What are you planning? Nothing that bad. I just want to show you something. Huh? I think you're overreacting about this. Okay, that's cool. I found that hit your fuse. What's up? What's the problem? Okay, then. Not just for teleportation. Basically, I can sense your key and transport in any sense. It's not just an escape mode, it can be used like that punch. 
Mm, interesting. But it's best when you learn the move to start with basics and not try to be unique with it. Fair enough. Alright. That move takes a lot of work, and it was a technique designed by what is it called again? The Archer. Yeah. A million race that can do that. I haven't met them myself, but apparently Kyoshi has, which is what he taught me all this stuff. Okay. He's like a god. I really don't understand hierarchy, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But the real technique I want to show you is something that I think you might be able to do. Okay. Hopefully you're pure of heart. Well, of course I am. Uses the energy around me, which I use some around this area to make that. I heard you can make it bigger, but I'm not waiting that long. Basically, oh. if you focus your key, feel the water, feel the air, you can be able to summon that much power in your hands. Sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. Mm? We can also put our own energy in it. Like, if we had, let's say, me, Jaden, and you were doing yours, we can use our energy to put it in your spirit bomb. Ooh. Because not just the ground nature, it's also people. Everyone with life force energy, basically. Hmm, interesting. It a purify evil, whatever he said. Huh. Okay, let's yeah. give it a shot. Breathe in. I feel like I'm... <laughs> Story. Don't force it, just release. Got it. And let go. Oh god! Don't worry, it doesn't hurt me. Lungs uh not evil, that is. Okay then. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, so I guess it's more of a thing than fighting bad people like that. Oh, you mean that Yugene guy? Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I would teach you the Kaioken, but we both know we you don't need it. Yeah, that's true. So I think it's best to focus on that and maybe give it time. To learn both. And focus a bit. Oh yeah. For the whole spirit bomb technique, I need the heart to be clear. So using Super Saiyan, using Angel, might not be the best option starting out. Okay. As long as you're pure, you won't be consumed by your own spirit bomb, so keep that in mind. Right, got it, got it. You don't want to be killed by your own technique at this point. True, true. Let's do another one. Uh, but don't get too crazy about it. Got it. You got it. Remember. Air. Water. Water. Just do it around. Until you're ready. Doesn't even hurt. Okay, maybe things, but but doesn't hurt that bad. That's a pretty cool technique. It'll be very useful. But it takes a while. And most time vendors will kill you before you get it off. Mm. So it has its downsides. Plus mm. if you live on a planet that has no life on it, then that's not a good as well, I know. Well that's true. Keep that in mind when using this technique. Use it as a last resort and not as a starter. Got it. Like a trump card. Just don't pull it out quick. Oh, alrighty. Hmm. 
something the matter? What? What is that? You look a bit down. Something's bothering you. No, I'm fine. How's Jaden, by the way? Uh, he's doing fine. I think since, like, you showed him the Kaioken and I showed him the Super Saiyan, he's been getting a bit more serious with his training. That's good. He has more potential than he knows. That is true. Hell, with enough training, he could probably surpass the both of us. Yeah, I want to give him that. I'll never let that happen. No, 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 I wouldn't either, but people can dream, can't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're my wildest dream to imagine a blonde ten-year-old fighting aliens. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. I can't keep this going on. What's up? Jordan. I don't talk about it often, but... My past isn't clean. I used to have a normal life, like any average kid. Mm -hmm. Well, for humans at least. I don't know about you Saiyans. I was seven. My dad was picking me up from school. He dropped me home. Everything seemed fine. Mom was happy. Dad was happy. My mom was actually pregnant. It seemed like a good day. But out of nowhere. A monster killed them. A monster? Killed him and left me near death. But he looked me dead in the eyes. I'll never forget that. Cold. He said you weren't even worth killing. And he walked out. Killed that image in my head. Not the face. Not the screams. It was I. I was in the hospital for a whole year. Master Roshi. And his brother. You might have heard of him before. His name is General Tao. The Crane School Master. Tien and Chiaotzu. I understand. That's the same school that Tien and Chiaotzu used to go to. I met Tien. Cool guy. But a little too serious. Mm-hmm. They saw me as a broken kid, they saw my value, so they walked out. I would say that, that's what I thought, but the door was a bit open. I heard what they were talking about. I remember the crane's cool master was telling me I was worthless, while General Tao had something else planned. If I knew what he was planning, I would never agree to it. He agreed to adopt me, and make me one of his crane school. I killed a lot of people. Things that are unforgivable. Mm. I did repent for my sins. Now, if I did it, I wouldn't be able to fly to find Nimbus. But it still haunts me. Being his forcer. But that's not the point of this. My mm. whole life, I started off weak. I met the old man, Master Roshi. He liberated me. I learned the name. I soon took his title as well. Strongest human. I met a lot of crazy people. Other aliens. Parasites. Even met that killer again. The point I'm making with the story isn't that my life is a tragic anime story. The point is, I've always been weak. This is pissing me off. I died so many times in my life, yet I died as some random kid in pajamas. I was worthless. I failed again to protect someone. It's pathetic. I don't deserve the title. I want to be a hero, you know. Protect the weak. Avenge my parents. 
Yeah, all I do is just get in the way. Once I die, I was actually worth something. I challenge that. You be made, fella. But what happens? You beat me. Not even using his full power. I was even worth a challenge to him. He just... He just killed Jaden. And he killed me. If you weren't there, all of us would be dead. The whole planet would... I think you're going into this a bit too much. I mean, and honestly, when I first met you, you were probably like one of the strongest people I knew. And on top of that, you were able to hold your own against Yukine. When I'm not known, I did see most of the fight. I saw his Super Saiyan transformation. I even saw his full power. He easily could have killed me. And he toyed with me. Just like the demon. You don't know, Jordan, because I'm sorry. I'm not a saint. I'm not born with some godlike power. I'm just a <sighs> human. Alright? In all my life, all my time spent on this planet, I've learned that nothing happens on accident. You are um, you have a lot of power and way more potential than I could have ever thought a human could have. And I mean it doesn't that. Matter. It doesn't matter, Jordan. It's not enough. I'll never avenge my parents. Hell, if another Sam like Yugane shows up, I'm as good as dead. He's not even the worst threat in the universe. I think you're thinking about this a bit too hard. Honestly, you've redeemed yourself. Judging by everything that you've told me, you've definitely become a greater man than you used to be. And I feel like with enough hard work and everything else, I'm sure you'll do just fine. And I believe your parents will be very proud of you. Work isn't enough. I've been training for life. Work. You might not know this, but the world has many type, different types of people. Even things that I don't even understand and you wouldn't even comprehend. Sounds kind of crazy since you can change your hair blonde and get stronger. Well, well, you can turn red. That's different. It's not something in my biology. That's a skill. There's a lot of stuff in the world. Basically, police in space. Evil armies. And now thinking about it, you can be not like my you can even might not be our worst for problems. Okay. The power we displayed. Our command man, I'm worried might have showed a sign. A sign that Earth is not worthless. I was told by a friend of mine named Jocko that our planet was low tier. And we'll stay away from most aliens due to that. People like you and me. Cause I'm balanced to the scale. And knowing that Zane showed up, and Yukon has showed up, and even Jaded. All our powers are really strong. I'm worried we're gonna catch the attention of someone powerful. Cooler. Frieza. Yeah. Sorry. Getting a little bit off track. Basically, there's sons of an evil king called King Kong. They rule the universe in different parts. One does more of the facial stuff and the other does more of the military stuff. The part to worry the most is both of them are kind of powerful. Last time I heard anything from my friend John, he told me one of them was way over 500,000. I didn't believe it at first. After seeing me today, Someone with that makes the story of how it has to be true. What happens if they showed up right now? They're telling me right now I'll be absolutely worse than something. I doubt I can defeat their soldiers. I'm sure you'd be able to do fine. I mean, when I was searching for the Dragon Balls to bring you back, I fought some of uh, Cooler's henchmen. What? They were weak as hell. Cooler's and on top of. 
uh, soldiers, lackeys, whatever you call them. And I fought this weird group that interposes. I only fought like three of them, and they were they were weak as hell. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm dead serious. They were weak. And all honesty, I bet you could take them with both your hands tied behind your back. Did they pose us? Yeah, I may not have been able to kill them, but I incapacitated them. What do they look like? Well, one of them was green and small, kind of like a frog. Another one was like a big, bulky, I guess he, you could say human? And then another one was blue, with red eyes, but he wasn't really all that impressive. It's a good thing for the care about support. Oh, we'll worry about that later. Sorry. I guess I'm being a bit over dramatic. Besides, all I'm saying is, all of those lackeys, all of that, you could easily take them down. And besides, when I'm making Jordan, isn't that I'm strong? Isn't that I'm weak? Isn't that I'm worthless? I'm scared. What happens to so much stronger than you when he shows up? We barely beat him the last time. What if someone even stronger shows up? There's even more power, like cooler, or phrase on What are we supposed to do? Can you beat us in our way there? To the top? Look, I, know. I already died once. It didn't help me any stronger. It didn't do anything. Just to the point. Our race is a failure. Ron, listen to me. The path that you're going down, it isn't a good path. Look, I've known people who have gone down this road, and sometimes there's no turning back. But the thing is, you are powerful, and through training, you'll become even stronger. Hell, if enough training, you could probably surpass me. And if someone does stronger than you, and it does show up, let them come. That's why we should be training. I need a fucking speech from a ten-year-old. You don't understand me, Jordan. Maybe because you're just a kid. I know nothing about you. Except you have some miraculous brother and you train with Roshi. That isn't enough anymore. What is a saying? Someone who, even under the most dangerous of circumstances, never gives up. Like you know. What are you? An alien? What is your race? I haven't even heard about you. The whole time it's been a galactic patrol you weren't even mentioned. Your race is so powerful. Look, I know you can get scared a lot of I usually get scared a lot sometimes as well every like strong person I fought I've been scared because I've worried for the safety of my friends and the planet but through that you have to keep your head held high and just keep moving forward I feel like that's the most important thing especially for humans as well because humans and Saiyans they're somewhat the same If I didn't get back up in time, you could have died as well. A lot, a lot of people have died, but unfortunately, that's the way life works. Sadly. I'm not scared for my own life. I'm scared for people. I know you feel the same, but it just sucks, you know. Being powerless. I'm the first time it happens. That'll be the last. It isn't it's usually nice. It sucks. I know it sucks, but we get there. Sometimes we may have like our down times, but sometimes we just have to push forward and do it. We have to just progress on. I think that's what everyone should do, even in the darkest times. Continue to move forward. Ah, oh, Jordan. I swear. So naive and innocent.
That's what I like about you. <laughs> Thanks. I, I needed that. Well, uh, I think everyone needs a good talking sometimes. We can continue this training later. Because I'm hungry. Come on, let's hurry up. <laughs> okay, alright, let's go.